Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlashUp.com. Bringing you another time video this week. This week it's a caddis pattern and it's a wet fly. Um, it's a merger, caddis emerger. It's the squirrel caddis emerger is what I'm calling it. It uses a lot of squirrel dub in it. So real cool pattern, real buggy looking. Um, gonna catch a fish. I'm getting ready here. Caddis, I'm trying to be more proactive with my caddis patterns. There's a lot of them on the water. I'll talk a little bit about that at the end of the video here. Right now, I want to get into tying it for you so you can get the tie in the fly. Here you're going to see a picture of the fly, then the material list to tie it. Okay, here you see the squirrel caddis emerger. Uh, cool looking fly, real buggy. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, we're gonna use a fire hole 315. This is a size 14. Um, you can tie it smaller, you can tie it bigger if you want to. For thread, I'm using some Semperfly wax thread. This is six aught in black. Brown, whatever color you have here. Just gonna put some thread on there, and then I'm gonna put a piece of flash of boo on. This is just pearl flash of boo, just to give it a little bit of extra flash to it. And I'm gonna wrap that back around the bend of the hook there. And now we're gonna dub the body on here. For the dubbing, we're going to use some Whitlock's dubbing blends. This is Sculpin Golden Brown. And any brown color will work, but I like this stuff. It's nice and, it's got squirrel in it and uh, makes it a little bit buggy and some flash to it. Just gonna get that on there nice and thin. I don't want a real thick wide noodle there. You can see I'm pretty thin just changing the color of my thread. And we're just gonna make that nice even body up through here. And that's actually really nice there. Then we're just going to wrap my flash of boo up and make a nice rib to give it a little extra color. And tie that off. Alright, now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a collar on this fly before I put my hackle on. And to do that I'm going to make a dubbing loop. I'm going to use my uh, multi-tool here, make a dubbing loop. You can use whatever you use there to make a dubbing loop. You can even split the thread will work nice here. And just gonna put my multi-tool on there and I'm gonna take a pinch of um, Whitlock's dubbing blends. This is the Red Squirrel Nymph Thorax and I want a very small pinch of it but a nice buggy looking pinch of it. You know, there's the guard hairs, there's a ton of guard hair in this and it's gonna make it stand out real nice. So I'm just gonna put that in there and then in the center, give it a spin, twist that up and then pluck it out just a little bit to get the bugginess, get them guard hairs there. You can see I got lots of guard hairs going on there. I'm just gonna wrap that around here and make a collar. And as I do, I'm gonna wrap those fibers back. And this is what's going to give us that emerger look. Can make it nice and buggy look like the wings are coming out give it a little bit extra body up front there trim that. all right next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a hackle fiber to this for this i'm going to use a hen pheasant and i'm just going to pull the fluff off of this on both sides here and then i'm going to take on one side and i'm going to pull the fibers off on one side so i'm just going to have fibers on one half of the feather and i'm going to grab that tip separate it out there and I'm going to tie it in by the tip. This will allow me to manage the number of fibers I have on the hackle. And when I tie it in I'm going to leave the tips on there for a moment and uh, put it in my hackle pliers. I'm only going to get about two twists here on this and it's going to give me a nice amount of hackle. It's not going to overpower it. I don't want it to be overpowering. And we're going to tie this off. So get a couple wraps on there. Tie off my shaft. 
pinch those tips and chop them off and then just clean up my head and that's all that's to this nice little caddis pattern don't make your head too big here and there we go we got a good looking caddis that's really buggy gonna ride in that film nice catch a lot of fish during the hatch All right, guys, hope you like that pattern. Very, very easy one. Just a few pieces of material, all it takes to tie this pattern. And it's really buggy pattern that will catch you fish. Um, one of the reasons why I was sharing this one was right now, um, TU chapters asked me to speak, do demonstrations at their clubs and stuff like that, different tying clubs. Uh, and right now I've been doing a demonstration on tying the life cycle of a caddis. Uh, I don't have this one in that demonstration. I tie like eight patterns in it, but this one would fit right in there in my merger section. So really cool. We need to concentrate more on caddis because there's way more of them than any other aquatic insect here in the United States, especially. Um, they're very, very tolerant of poor water conditions, which makes them very widespread, different a lot of different kinds of caddis out there. So uh, for me, like I've been trying to tie more caddis patterns from my box because there's more of them in the water for the trout to feed on. So it only makes sense that you catch more fish on th something that there's more of. So that's why I'm bringing you this pattern this week. But very cool pattern. Uh, if you're looking for somebody to speak at your TU chapter here, especially if you're in the Pennsylvania, Maryland, like that area, I'd be more than willing to talk to you about doing something like that. Um, so reach out to me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. Like always, if you would like to buy any of the, these flies or any of the other ones I tie, reach out again at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. But if you need any of the material, please head over to our website. Um, we try to keep stocked up with everything you need there to tie these. All the videos that I shoot, everything that's in the video, we sell on our website. So wholesingersflyshop.com. Thanks for watching and supporting our channel over the years, guys. We love bringing these to you. I hope to see you at some shows here coming up. And uh, if not, I'll see you on the internet. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Sean Holsinger.